Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another update this week. This week, we're going to be updating you guys on the Red Shoulderback Angelfish, uh, along with the two Autumns. So it hasn't been too long since you guys seen this tank. It's been a little over a month, but in that month, we've had a lot of growth in the plants. The plants are starting to fill up the tank very nicely. Since the last update, I didn't make any adjustments to the tank in terms of CO2, lighting, or anything like that. Uh, the tank is literally on autopilot right now, which is awesome because I think I've dialed in the light, I've dialed in the CO2, and we're just waiting for this tank to grow. So what you're seeing right now is a 50% trim of the tank. The plants were all the way to the top uh, maybe a couple of days ago. I actually trimmed the plants all the way down and kept you know all the good stems, kind of replanted everything. So it's looking really nice right now. A little short, but still uh, the plants are growing like crazy, guys. Crazy. Now the one thing that really sticks out in this tank is the Laguigia Pantanal Reds. Now, I've been growing this plant for years. Uh, I really just love that red orange when it gets really, really bright from the highlight. The really cool thing is the red in the plant is starting to match the red in the uh, angelfish. Now, I think as the angelfish starts to grow, that red on their back is going to start to look like the plant's. It's going to be insane if the red is just like like that. So like if you think about it, like when they're swimming there, they're literally just blending into the background. That's crazy. So I'm happy to say the plant is slowly progressing to the direction that I like. Probably the next couple months once the carpeting plant starts to kind of grow in, I think this tank is going to be like filled really nicely. Uh, some of the plants are kind of still like uh, a little not as bushy as I would like. Uh, that's just because the angelfish... They like to eat the leaves of the plants, uh, so there's really nothing I can do about that other than you know let them eat or just feed them a little bit more than usual. But even then, I've noticed that they like to pick at the plants, which is fine because it's you know part of their little diet. They can eat that all they want, so um, I'm okay with that as long as they're you know happy, healthy, and just swimming around. So let's talk about the red shoulderback angelfish a little bit more. In the last month or so, they haven't really grown as much. But the one thing I noticed is the red is definitely starting to spread a lot more on their backside. Now, if you look at the video a month ago, some of the reds were kind of spots here and there. But now if you look at the, the angelfish a little bit closer, so especially some of the bigger ones, they're starting to get bigger patches of red. So the one thing I'm starting to experiment on is some color enhancing food. In the past, I used to just kind of buy one brand and whatever they have is, you know, whatever they get. Uh, but I'm starting to actually mix a lot of my foods together from Ken's Fish. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of them, go check them out. They actually sell fish food in bulk and you can kind of mix, you know, different flakes, different things here and there to kind of create your own uh, fish flakes or fish blend that's you know suitable for your fish. The one thing I started to experiment on was adding in some uh, color enhancing food. So I'm hoping that it will help out with the red development on these angelfish. So far I'm happy with the tank and the plant growth. Uh, probably in the next two or three months here, I'll probably start selling some of the trims of the plants if you guys are interested in getting some of the plants. Uh, right now, it's just still way too cold for me to ship anything out. Uh, but, you know, keep an eye out on some of these plants, especially if you guys are interested in getting some of these really crazy colorful plants for your tank in the future. Alright guys, if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you guys are subscribed. And like always, to next time guys, peace.